Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I am just going to show you um, about using the square mesh rulers. As you can see over here how perfectly lined up these are. This was me using a mesh ruler. I actually I purchased these before I started selling in my shop. These are a lot more expensive and they didn't make sense for me to carry something this big in the shop, but this is what I have for my personal use. And I'm not sure what size it is compared to the one that is in my shop. It does say this information here at the bottom. I don't know what exactly it means. It has a hard time focusing because of the, there we go. It says 50 and then something in Chinese equals something. So it's probably, means 50 equals 125 millimeters. I'm not sure, but uh, apparently it's 50 times um, the 0.25 millimeter or the 2.5 millimeter width of each drill. So I'm just going to show you how this fits on this canvas. This is this is just something I got on AliExpress. It's not any kind of a um, known company where people normally buy from, uh, but the rulers fit on it perfectly. They fit both directions, but sometimes if they don't, the ruler doesn't fit going this way horizontally. You're you're going to want to try to fit them vertical, and I just tried these vertical right away and that's why you see them done up like this. This is just a 20 by 20 diamond painting and I was looking here to set it up again and it does actually fit bo in both directions. Um, it doesn't actually fit as well going this way because I can already see how it's over here starting to not line up perfectly. You can see the line right in here for the next drill, but it fits perfectly going this way. So if you're ever having an issue getting your mesh ruler, your square mesh ruler to fit um, on your canvas, try turning it the other direction because on this one, I just turn it the other way and it seems to line up. Actually, that didn't line up very well at all. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I had it uh, lined up from the beginning, from the other two. So there we go. Yeah, you kind of have to sometimes relay it to get it to line up for the whole, the whole way up because sometimes down here it'll line up and it won't line up here. You sometimes just have to mess with it and play with it and because it won't go straight when you first lay it down here, sometimes it won't be straight up here and you kind of have to adjust it to the right or the left a little bit and you'll see that it's perfectly lined up. I mean, to me, this is, this is a perfectly lined up um, ruler. As you can see, it fits. And you can see the entire square. I mean, places like this make me think that it's not lined up. See right here? So it may not be lining up perfectly over in this section. But when you go to fill in over here, the spots that this is covering up, it should push your drills into place. And that's why you don't want an overly large mesh ruler for squares because it's the further you go, the less likely it's gonna be to line up. Um, I have that issue even with a round on a specific canvas. Um, like Diamond Art Club, I don't have any issues with the round ruler lining up perfectly, but some of the other companies I do have that issue with. But with this one, I'm not too worried about that tiny bit that it may be off by, like right in there. But if I line this, I have two of them. If I line the other one up, going horizontally up here. Let me see. I'm trying to do it so it leaves off where I turn my light back on. Where I left off up here. Let's see. It would be I don't know how to 
perfectly line it up because it ends differently. But one way or the other, you can get it to line up however you want. You could even skip a line. It might make it easier. But I think I was like this. So you just want to look on the very edge that you're working on and get that lined up first. So those are lined up now. And, and then you just kind of wiggle it, adjust it just a little bit here and there. And look at the line down here to see that you're getting your squares right in this, the right spot. And there we go. I think that's lined up pretty well. And sometimes um, one millimeter being off one millimeter on the side for a couple of rows is no big deal. What's a big deal is when you have, you're have you off by a millimeter on each row for the whole thing. Because then by the time you get to this part right here, you're going to be so far off that you're not going to be able to get your drills laid in the right direction, in the right spot. It's, they're going to be over like two spots where they from where they should be. So I just wanted to show um, those who are having difficulty laying down your mesh rulers. Um, I'm going to actually pull out one of our mesh rulers that we sell in the shop. And I'm going to lay it on here as well just so we can see how that um, works on this particular canvas. But each canvas is different. They actually measure them differently. I don't know why when all squares are the same size. It, but that's the same thing with rounds. Sometimes they space it differently. But with squares, it should never be spaced different. But they do. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here are, is the one that we sell in the shop. And we are going to lay it. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other one. I lined up over here on the edge. And now I'm going to make sure it lines up here at the bottom best we can. And this one fits just like the other one does, at least going horizontally. Now if I try doing it um, vertical, take it back off. <clears throat> Let's see here. Do something like this. See, there's not much width on this, but it it actually fits better. This particular one fits better going this direction, going vertical instead of horizontal. So if you ever have an issue getting it to fit, you know, try flipping it around because I have found that that works best. And I only decided to do this because I have a lot of one color in this diamond painting. So I know that I'm going to be able to use my three placer to fill in these gaps here and it'll be actually a lot quicker than if I was just doing um, placing them singly, which is what, you know, I normally do when I'm doing the checkerboard method and these rulers are basically just a checkerboard guide. Um, they don't because of the fact that you have to take it off and then turn around and fill in the gaps that were there from the ruler being down because that's how they, that's the only way they can make a square ruler. But seeing that I have a lot of color blocking, it leaves for you being able to use at least the three placer to fill in your gaps or to do the, the uh, ruler, what the ruler guide that they have here because you can at least use a three-placer. You're not going to be able to use anything other than a three-placer, well, two-placer maybe, but you can't use, you know, four and five because the biggest spot is going to be three left. I mean, right here, this is where I had the two, the two rulers met. So I do have some four gaps in spots. So if I wanted to pull out a four, four placer, I could do that. But for the most part, you're going to use a three placer to fill this in and it goes rather quickly. And it's pretty fun because you get to hear the clicks, you know, it gets to snap in uh, when you get them just right. So 
you can't really hear it, but it was a tiny little snap. So that is the mesh ruler and how to make yours work if it's just not lining up for you. I mean, like I said, each canvas is sized differently, so I cannot guarantee one is going to fit the and on one that will fit on one may not fit on another. And it's that's just because of the manufacturers who make the diamond painting canvases and the way they print them out. Sometimes they just don't, they aren't as accurate as they should be with being the size of the square drills. They should be exactly the size of a square drill so that the drills butt up against each other, but not too much. It's a precise science. It's supposed to be the size of the drill so that you have no gaps, but sometimes the drills are too small or sometimes the spaces are just not made the way they should be. And then that leaves all sorts of problems like your mesh ruler not fitting, you'll get popping drills and things like that. So our hope is that we get canvases that are accurate that accurate that are accurately printed so that things like our mesh rulers and our multi-placers will work properly because if you try to use a multi-placer on a canvas that is not spaced right you're going to have the same issue you're going to put your your say i'm using a 12 placer i'm going to put my 12 down and they're not going to be perfectly on those squares i'm going to have to spread them out a little bit and i have had to do that on some canvases so so that's just a little quick tutorial on how to use a mesh ruler and how to um, try and make it work on yours if it's not working the first time, if it's not lining up. This is just a suggestion. It, Like I said, it's not going to work for everybody because it depends on the canvas itself. And I was told that the mesh rulers are made in two different sizes, but I have never seen them um, indicated whether they are one size or another. They've always just been the same you know, just mesh, square mesh ruler for square drills. That's all they've ever advertised them for. Never seen one that says it's a 140 or a 141 like I do with the rounds. So have fun with this. Let me know um, if you hate the mesh rulers, if you just can't stand using the squares. Um, let me know down below. I personally have tried using the squares several different times. I've gotten frustrated and just went to doing it without the rulers. And I keep going back and forth because at least on this one, I'm actually saving a lot of time. Um, I've realized because I do checkerboard anyway, I still have to go back over to fill in the gaps one way or the other if I use the mesh ruler or if I don't. So I figured I might as well try it again. And it, it, it matched up perfectly and that just made me super happy. So yeah, tell me your experiences and what you think of them or if you're, after watching this, you're thinking of giving it a shot again. Um, we do still have a few of the square mesh rulers in the store. They do go fast. I have more on their way, but uh, I'm guessing that they will probably not be here by the time I sell out of the ones that are in the store because they're almost gone. But I will leave a link down below for the square mesh ruler that we do have in the store. And um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. So I will see you guys in my next video. Have fun diamond painting. And don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs>